Hello, Gemini. How are you? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. We're looking at the overall energy to kick off the new year. Oh, wow. What is this? It leaped right out. Togetherness, loyalty, fellowship, bonding. Look at how nice. It looks as though you're going to have very deep ties with friends this year. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of very different people around you feeling just so much like you belong in a group of people. You feel nested, protected. You stand out in the crowd, so to speak, but everyone, you're very beloved. I have to say that. People around you fiercely want to protect you. You have a lot of adoration, a lot of feline energy. We have celebration. I've been getting this for everybody. How crazy is that? Right? Just coincidental, my friends. Life is going to be very celebratory this year. A lot of bliss, a lot of joy, a lot of delight. I feel as though, Gemini, you oftentimes work too much. And it seems easy, but I feel that this year is going to be a year that in which you really enjoy life, that that's your focus. It's switching. It's switching from what you think you have to do with your crazy multitasking double personality, <laughs> but you are going to very much be moving in the direction of following the signs and synchronicities that are in your life. The people who are actively involved with you right now are very important. Many of them you've known for a long time, but what I'm seeing this year is a year of really strong emotion, heartfelt space, feeling secure, feeling like every day is a celebration when you get up. But heck, I think Gemini feels out most of the time anyway. My camera is doing something weird. I'm going to have to replace it again. Uh, sorry about that. Sometimes it just goes out of focus in the early part of the reading for some reason. The energy, the overall energy in the reading is a strength card, Leo energy. What you don't see, nice, the magician manifesting, that is, that's your energy. Gemini, here you are in your reading, Virgo, so you may be manifesting with a Virgo or without a Virgo, but you're here. What you don't see coming is the Seven of Pentacles. Your outcome is the Hanged Man. Okay, so let's take a look and see. We've got the Strength card. Tell us about the Strength card. Somebody is coming towards you in a very bold way. Um, they want to talk to you. They're very ardently want to communicate with you. I call this the Honey, I'm Home card. They have something that they want to tell you, Ace of Swords, some sort of truth that they need to explain to you. They want to talk about their feelings. They want a victory with you. They also want to make an offer. So for some of you, this could be uh, an offer that gives you more money, expansion. It could be a job promotion. It could be advancement. But for many of you, this is going to be, this is Cancerian energy, a very personal victory with somebody with whom you feel great passion. So I feel as though this is, it, the year is going to kick off very strongly. Somebody is going to make an undeniable um Plea. I wouldn't say plea. Somebody's going to make an undeniable offer. They feel as though their happiness is with you. They feel as though life is better with you. This is going to be somebody that is uh, that you've known a while. That's what I feel. I feel as though they maybe didn't give as much in the past. This year, they're really going to throw themselves into the relationship as you are. Again, this whole year is going to be very passionate, fun, successful, lively. But the backbone of the energy, look at how interesting this is. We have, this is the lion, half lion, half human. In the traditional tarot deck, it's a woman walking next to a lion who's protecting her. And look at all this feline energy here. You know, this it's the, because you can have masculine feline energy. You're getting protected. This would be the sort of thing where you wake up at two in the morning and, 
or, or you know, six o'clock at night, whatever, uh, when you're wide awake, you might hear somebody shoveling your driveway or, you know, you're, you're, if you're in a snowy area. So what I'm talking about is people coming to help you, offering you something, and they feel that they like to be in your energy, that you're passionate, that you're upbeat, that you're exciting, that, that you really have a very strong um, energy that you possess that's really good hearted you know Leo the lion hearted what you don't see for this sheer Gemini is that somebody is returning this can be someone from childhood a dear friend this could be simply that you are manifesting again the vibe for friendship love deep connection some of you may get a dog uh, some of you may may have the return of you know best friends from years ago from high school junior high uh, but we get the energy now look Look at that what's hidden here is you're manifesting you're very sexy you're out there you're having fun you're on fire look at this you're just attracting so much energy towards you and somebody wants to return somebody that you know wants to return and they're very serious about it Taurus energy they really want to give to a relationship and you can see it here but this can be any kind of a relationship but there's a romantic relationship uh, in which somebody truly wants partnership with you again for a few of you it'll be business it won't be so much romantic but partnership is still the goal Hierophant energy that's traditional values if if you're looking for a new career you're going to have it it's going to be with a company that offers good benefits the queen of wands is both sexy but a wonderful businesswoman too so i feel like there's a what's hidden here is you're going to manifest a lot of loyal followers if you're on social media your your energy is very vibrant and you're going to have a lot of stability so and i think it's going to be both i think you're going to have both relationship and tremendous business success for the year you really are navigating uh, very carefully you're seeking guidance and navigating your path for the year so your outcome gemini is this hanged man energy oh look at this <laughs> somebody is waiting for you to reach out to them and I don't think you will do it I'm getting the hanged man energy tells me that you're just kind of very calm you're letting life come to you you're being very receptive somebody is is really watching you on social media we're getting that you are I think for many of you and we are in mercury retrograde right now I think you're going to attract back people who are lovers old business partners you're going to hear from people that you have not heard from in a very very long time especially in the area wherever capricorn is in your astrology chart you are single ready to mingle look at the lover's card that's you gemini gemini you're here with your major arcana twice manifesting the your hopes and dreams you know whatever you want to invest in I think many of you might even grow a garden this year but we see this energy Gemini that you know you're just taking you're just taking it easy here's what's so funny the ironic part of this is Gemini tends to be so busy by taking time for yourself by celebrating life by you know spending time with friends it's actually going to fulfill you so much that you start attracting all this energy into your life look at wealth abundance career success we're having the lovers you're going to have soul you have soulmate energy coming in here look at this what's hidden so now we go to from one marriage card to two happily ever after you just need to follow your intuition for this year let's see what is hidden that you don't really um what is it that's totally unexpected let's ask it that way what is it that will surprise gemini the most what are the big surprises a new beginning okay you don't expect a new beginning 
Look at this. Some of you may be traveling to a destination. You're throwing caution to the winds. This is travel, adventure. It's your ships coming in. I feel as though many of you are literally going to go to a place like Hawaii or Australia, New Zealand, maybe, you know, a, a destination in Indonesia. But I'm getting... Um, I'm really getting the energy that you, the boredom, you know, you're coming into the year feeling kind of drained, kind of bored, and you're just taking the leap of faith. We get that you're going to be very budget minded, but you are going to travel the world. International travel is on the map for you. And I'm feel. look at this. All you have to do is play it smart. I'm getting that with the right moves, you're going to be able to travel. I feel like almost at a really in a budget way. What is it I call it? Um, champagne tastes on a beer budget. And you're going to man, you're going to do it. So let's, I, oh, the readings have been so good. Be sure to check out your rising, your moon, and your Venus, because the readings are coming out just, just bouncing with great energy. So, you know, get a good, good, get a good boost of that. And here we have dragon power. So your power is very much coming from within. It's your inner light shining outward. People are really starting to see what you bring to the table. You're getting a lot of attention. You're in the limelight. You could get an award this year. People are, it's almost like you might become, some of you may become celebrity status. I will say that because with the magic, the chariot card, that would be like, oh, this person's coming to my town. You know, I'm going to be sure I get tickets. But when we look at the six of wands, that is like winning an Academy Award. The person's got spotlights on them. This is you. You have the spotlight is very much on you. You have the winner's wreath. You have people applauding. And we just have very rapid movement forward. Sagittarius energy is very strong in the reading. Uh, contemplative Pisces has a very strong piece here. But I see you as very well-rounded this year. There's a nice mix of emotion. There's a nice mix of... What's so interesting is I don't have a lot of Pentacles energy, but what's here is very powerful, and it just looks like you're super secure this year. Very much look at that. The Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Gemini, Happy New Year. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.